Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got this at JaxCon. I'm a huge fan of this era, Cor uh, Camaro and Firebird and all those things. And I got this one. I've never seen this kit, high performance series. It's got a few little things and I mentioned on my haul video already, it was a very cool kit. Special pa detail package, ignition wire, flexible hose. <laughs> But as far as the car goes, these were the nicest looking, uh, um, bo the body style is just love it, love it, love it. Got it for $10, sealed. It's got a V6 with a turbo, but I'm gonna open it up. And I, I wanna see this thing for myself and uh, I have to wait for you guys on these videos because I wanna see them, but I want you to see them with me. So let's open her up. What year is it? It is, how long has it been in this plastic? since somewhere around 1989 oh well it's about to be unplasticed just like that matthew you have no feelings no it's just it's fun now and i'm glad that it's so much fun to open up these old kits didn't even bother me to do that all right here listen to that 1989 that's like 33 34 years old something like that 34. All right, here we go. Ready? Check it out. Bam. It's got 10 windows and it's got this absolutely cool. Look at this. 1989 new kits. We got to check this out first. I know it's going to have airplanes and all that stuff, but we'll check. <laughs> got the Corvette. Don't have that one, but I got that one. Let's see. Where's it at up there? Yep. Got it. Ricky Rudd, Quaker State Buick. Got that car. It is on the shelf. I've got this one i believe it's up yep it's right there too got that kit um that would be cool that little shelby dodge charger wow what a charger front wheel drive and everything shelby mustang gt350 don't know if i got that one or not i might i can't look right now and then the uh Kerber street edition and hi ah, you remember that one plum crazy i remember that one as a kid Got some indie cars that were out at the time. Here is the uh, 70 Buick GSX. That is the one that I believe is recently reissued by Ravel, uh, which was a monogram kit. Awesome looking car too. Awesome looking car. Um, we have here, there's a snap tight Ferrari uh, F40. A master. A Metal Master Cadillac V16, another Metal Master Duesenberg SJ 120. All these are 124 scale. Then we got IndyCar, the F40, not a snap kit. Ferrari Testarossa, Ferrari F40. Hold on, what is this? Are these? These are mini exacts. Oh, those are those little guys. I've got one of these, but it's the uh, the Boss 302 Mustang. I'd be dog. So all these were would have been those anyway all right so cool 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 love these old things that come with kits all right here we go let's check this thing out so we got tinted glass that looks pretty darn good there's a few little spots that need to be buffed out of it but let's see don't see that little foggy spot but other than that it looks pretty good nice I guess we need to open this thing up and check up, check out the. <laughs> here's, here's your detail. It's a piece of red wire. Actually, it's very nice, nice to scale though. The wire looks like great scaled down wire. We have a set of chrome wheels, a turbo, a transmission pan, an oil vent tube couple of small v6 valve covers and some other throttle stuff S set of tires let's see what kind are these they are good years let's see if i can't get it up there why is it spelled upside down let me get it up yeah check this out It's like upside down. You can read it like that. That's weird. Huh. I don't know why they did that. But anyway, tires look pretty pretty nice. Pretty cool. It's 
still got a little pliability in them. There's the intake for the for it. Oh, and it had the uh, and the radiator hose right there. Little bitty piece of something. Instructions. Yeah, it says 1989 on the instructions as well. Uh-oh. Drop the decal sheet. Hold on. Let me bend down and get it. Well, the decals look good. So Pontiac is hard to see, but anyway, we got turbo. Trans Am, Turbo V6. That's neat. Very cool. But anyway, you've seen the instructions before. This is this is it. Typical monogram instructions. Just like that. Okay, let's open up some plastic here. See this body. So I bet this would have been the same body. At least this part. Well, maybe not. I know there were a lot of drag car um, Camaros and Firebirds and stuff like that. And I wonder if this would have been one. But I bet it wouldn't have had all that in its inside if it had been a drag car. But it's got GT. Is that GTA? And uh, it's got the, got the bird right there. It says either it come in, it came in either black or white. This one's the white one. Nice looking car. Just a, I love those year um, Camaros and Firebirds and such. All right, so we have an electric fan on the radio, the shroud. This looks like fuel injection, or maybe. Something like that. I don't know. A nice serpentine pulley set. That looks like the front of the uh, air conditioning compressor. I don't know what that is. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Got the fan. I mean the steering wheel. I did see a fan, didn't I? No. Steering wheel right there. Uh, some kind of probably intercooler right there. And, oh, this says 19. Whoa. Why does that say 82? Was the interior tub from 82? What year car is this? I don't even know what car what year car it is. Maybe the car is like an 82. And this kit was just re-released -re in 89. I don't know. Stick shift. Nice tub. Nice interior tub there. Very nice. That will build up very, very nice. Yeah, I don't know what your model car this is. I was just assuming it was a eight, somewhere around an 89. So there's your, there's your V6 with your automatic transmission hooked to it. Front suspension. A seat. And a, another seat right there. Catalytic converter. Because this thing is a smog-proof car. Single pipe running down into dual, uh, a dual muffler. Water pump. Rear view mirrors, shocks, exhaust, um, the small little three-way exhaust, a drive shaft, something else, and a rear end. Got to have a rear end. Things just don't work good without them. All right, there is a fan right there. So there is a electric fan. Maybe that goes in the electric fan. Yeah, this says 1982 as well. Right there. 1982. Okay. So I guess it's an 82 Trans Am. I don't know. But that is a nice looking chassis. Monogram was such a great model kit. Model company. Oh, look at this. Cylinder heads for a V8. Is there another engine in here? No. Huh. That's weird. But yeah, cylinder heads there for a V8. Small block. Something. We got the dashboard there with all the knobs on the radio and all that stuff. Front suspension, another piece of it, and that fan blade. All right, what's in here? Two more seats, or those were the seat fronts, I guess, that I was showing you a while ago, and these are the seat backs. 
Okay. Hey man, we're almost done with this already. All right, there's the cylinder heads for the the V6. V6 cylinder heads. Hood, you got a spoiler right there for the back. Front and rear bumpers. And a nice looking hood. Yep, monogram did it and did it well. So, well that was quick. Uh oh, we got one part in here. And it's like a connecting piece of the exhaust. Wouldn't want to lose that. I gotta make sure nothing's in there. That's it. Alright, well, unboxing done of the what watch it say 82 right on it and I'm just haven't even read it yeah it, I, I don't see I don't see a year but anyway there's your high performance series 20th anniversary Trans Am with special detailing package 124 scale kit by monogram unboxing there it is right there and uh hey look at that let's see if i can get the right angle that's too far too far too far. no i ain't gonna be able to do it can't get the can't get the thing far enough away anyway matthew that's weird all right guys thanks for watching me unpile this classic styrene hope you enjoyed it let me know if you've ever built this kit not necessarily the high performance because that just gave you the plug wires but the kit in general did it build up nice did you put your pictures on model car videos facebook group so i could so we could all see them um yeah guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for liking this video thanks for all you do in support of this channel Thank you for your uh, support, whether it be just subscribing, watching the video, which is vastly important. Um, if you bought something off the spring store, thank you so much, like a coffee mug or a sticker or a hoodie. I don't know how to do hoodie with my left hand, but anyway. Um, and the pa uh, Patreon guys, thank you so much, guys, for that, your support there. Thank you for, to Mark at Hobby Nut Models for supporting this channel. And uh, you go check out HobbyNutModels.com. All these things linked in the description of this video. And uh, maybe one day this will see some MCW paint. And be looking all sweet and everything. Alright guys, you all take care and we'll see you. Well, I actually won't see you. You'll see me. You'll see, <laughs> see me on the next video. Alright guys, take care. See ya. Bye.